we need to put more effort to take it back okay what i feel is the narrative within the islamic world has made us like that it might be because of the uh, infiltration of some other thoughts into it or that feeling into it but within the uh, uh, islamic world what what narrative we have been hearing is that those who get in, into the field, if uh, we consider this thing the economic system of banking and all those stuff the interest part and those who take interest leave interest or write about it are all bad that narrative was there so if we want to change that thing we have to get into the system uh, the thing is uh, i don't know uh, i mean i have a reading process about islam actually uh, and i'm collecting vast ideas about it uh, so before the end i really uh, like changes happening in me because it's just because i have allowed me to change that i'm been practicing islam so i love changes Uh, the thing and uh, now to add to your point or uh, i don't know whether it's contradicting or not uh, we have this movie releasing in uh, kerala uh, today after it's named halal love story which is uh, which actually for like whatever i could crack it, it's yet to release but then it 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 really opens an alternative space uh, to produce a halal movie the conflict of a, a person to produce a halal movie how is it uh, that we can perform or we can express our feelings or we can uh, live within our limits not not in other uh, like in, not in other perspective but in our perspective and our limits how is it possible so for that we need to confront with the system we need to realize that there is this reality where we are uh, we are being otherwise so we need to address that we need to acknowledge that it's not that we can just be blind and just go ahead because Uh, but uh, i mean we have uh, the they have something in time the by the of normal principles so we need to be practice play tactics we need to realize things and then act accordingly yeah uh, jazakallah khair uh, so like the as a conclusion point what would you say the uh, like it's almost 30 minutes now i think uh, we have to uh, like conclude with a positive thing uh, of giving a message to the muslim youth what are the role they should be playing so basically seeing we are a bit confused so since you are into the public sphere and uh, public domain what what would you suggest or what would you uh, recommend muslim youth should be doing oh, sure i think all of us realize that there was an extreme case of violence that is happening in this country i mean uh, uh, when i say violence it's not just mere physical thing because the very existence of a muslim is under threat so your identity is very really problem that we confuse whether it is our problem or the problem of the state so another day i was thinking like when i went deeper uh, me being suffocated by these news is is it just my problem but when i went deeper i understood that the person in me i mean granny had no problem with this i mean i am having my livelihood done here i am i'm living i'm moving in that's that's completely fine there is no problem with this person but this is not the case of the muslim in me i mean the muslim in me can't just survive in this nation by ignoring the fact that people are being persecuted in the name of their beliefs in the name of their religion people are being raped because they come from the minority community they are being persecuted they are being kidnapped tortured to to that extent that uh, in human things are happening so to me i mean to make it clear coming to babri masjid it is nothing to do with the person in me but on the other hand the muslim in me can't just let it go because it is a blood and interest so that crisis between you and a muslim that is where you have to really play because as a citizen uh, i uh, i am not having the power to not let this happen but i have the thing to resist and resist as much as possible so uh, i consider this like whatever happening around the world as a task by the almighty to sort out people to collect to select the people so by looking so what will be his criteria it's it's not that you are not going to kill anybody so you are not you are directly to heaven but what is your reaction towards these problems uh, you if you want to get selected just give yourself to it like until the truth comes so uh, of course we are not sad but we uh, i mean we are sad of course we are sad when our, i mean 
tortures and sisters are being raped and tortured, but we are never dispersed. So, uh, I mean, I want to precisely speak about the protest movements that happened in India. I mean, because basically, my understanding was that the movement or the protest never, the movement of the protest or whatever happening, resistance happening in the country never need me because we have, they have like such a lot of people now. They never need me, but it is me who needs the protest. Oh, I needed the movement. It was essential for me, uh, at least a pl platform to defend that uh, to break down, to repay to Allah, to rely upon, uh, because uh, I should never be counted as a uh, hypocrite, as I should never be counted to propagate, or who propagate a threat here, who propagate violence here. So whether it is anti-CAA, whether it is a fight for Kashmir, the solidarity to Babri or the Hathra state, whatever, anything, you should not sit here with it. What is happening? You should not normalize because your silence is their work. Right? So, the, uh, try to, or uh, I mean, speak against it. At least to speak against what is happening. At least hate what is happening around you. And to the best, go speak against them in the street. Okay. So, if we conclude, we can. If if I put it, I would put it in this way: the uh, difference between you. And you being a Muslim or me and me being a Muslim is that exact point. Because me as an individual, I can't just live uh, with the fact that it's happening beside me and ignore it. As a Muslim, you, ha you have the responsibility. That is your duty. That is your purpose for being in this world and being a Khalifa or representative of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We, we are not having power, so we are not going to oppress anybody. And... Uh, uh, for now, as for now, I am not personally attacked. I mean, I'm not being raped. I'm not being harassed. There are chances, of course, but then still, for the way, uh, for now, I am not doing so. I am neither the oppressed nor the uh, oppressed. So, where is my role in this? I mean, uh, will I be yeah, yeah. Don't, uh, because I, I just left? No, I don't think uh, I am uh, not that. Uh, I mean, I am important to my army. So he would have given me a space. So choose your space if you go. Yeah, as uh, our ex national president, uh, Brother Nahas Mala, used to put it uh, Muslims have slept enough. It's now time for them to crunch back and jump into the mainstream and show the world what it actually is, what how liberating it is. So as Muslim youths, we all have our role to play, inshallah. Uh, I'd like to uh, pay my gratitude to you from my third personally and uh, Team Ulal Explorers as whole and uh, entire audience. Uh, Jazakumullahu khair for being on this show. Inshallah, we'll be uh, having frequent shows, inshallah, if Allah wills on, on the more recent topics. And yeah, inshallah. Jazakallahu khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.